Okay, this is a, a wonderful little work by Charles Conda, and um, many of these paintings were, were, were given kind of interesting titles too. Sometimes there could be a poetic title, um, but this one is actually called An Early Taste for Literature. And um, so Conda's been, um, been out in the land painting from the direct experience of the land, the changing seasons. You can see this uh, probably spring here. You can see the, uh, the clouds in the background. You can see the, the um, blossoms. And the early taste for literature, what's that about? You've got a cow that's eating the newspaper that, uh, that the women that are uh, in the background. Very, very interesting. And um, it's, it's fabulous the way that he's used paint in this work. The colour scheme is extraordinary. The, um, the foreground has this wonderful growth of the spring flowers. You've got the bucket tipped over here. You've got the cherry blossoms here. There's, there's also an interesting uh, connection in this work to Japan, the Jap Japonism, which was another stream that was happening at the time as well. And, um, and Kondo indeed was very, very influenced by Japanese art and um, very woodblock prints and that kind of thing too. Here, um, these women, the, the role of women in, in um, art is very interesting too. You know, you don't so much see these women, uh, they're, they're kind of parading around, they're, they're wearing their kind of the fashion of the day with the tight fitting corsets and the bustle at the back. They're parading around the land, relaxing. They're not actually kind of, you know, they're not doing this kind of heavy work or anything like that. We do see that in some later works though. Of course, that changes. The perception of women certainly changes. This was done in the 1880s. Look at the way, and again, not quite related to the study you're doing, but I think it's really interesting to look at fashion too, the way that these women are kind of wearing these tight fitting corsets and these bustles. Okay, restrictive dress too. So it says something about the way that women were positioned in society too. And dare I say the male dominant uh, society that we were uh, very much part of. That all changed in the early 20th century <laughs> as women were free in terms of their restrictive dress too and the roles of women, the suffragettes. Okay, again, another interesting stream that, we're, that we can link to as well. It's very multifaceted when you're looking at a painting. You can look at it from an environmental perspective. You can look at it from uh, the role of women's perspective. Okay, you can connect with science. You can connect with change in the land. It's all such important stuff to consider. I want to go to a work now that's um, painted by a Ballarat artist. Uh, so let's have a look at that. <laughs> 